Hi everyone, welcome to devlog number 5. My name is James, indie game developer for Candy Cabinet Studio. Um, if you haven't watched my previous vlogs, you can click here at the top right corner to watch it. Um, again, if you don't know me yet, I'm a C-Sharp developer during weekdays and indie game developer every free time I have. Just a quick update, big milestone for our game yesterday. So Mahika Prologue was approved in Steam. It's now coming soon for next year and I'm going to put in the Steam link in the description so you can add it to your Steam wishlist. Also, I mentioned in my website blog yesterday I couldn't sleep early because of the excitement. So I redirected all these energy to creating a proper game title artwork. And as you notice, uh, in my video background, here is the new game title. Uh, it looks cool, it's clean, and hope you like it. Uh, well, now on to the demo. Let me open up the uh, latest build. Cool, so this is the new title. There's not much animation yet because I removed all the other animations, but I did add a couple of uh, particle effects to it. So as you can see, uh, there is a glowing orb for uh, the dot of the eye and glowing dust particles floating around just to make sure you can feel the magic uh, when you actually log, uh, not log in, but open up the game. Um, the menus, I'm still not happy with how the icons are showing, um, but yeah, uh, I can definitely improve on that and I will try to add animations uh, to our game title uh, once I actually, you know, have time for it. Cool, so let's uh, move on. Again, I haven't updated any of the UI yet, but it's still the same thing. Uh, uh, I was playing around with it again and I added this uh, cool uh, avatar for our uh, hero character. So let's use it. Sweet. So, do you notice uh, there are a couple of more stuff, items, weapons, and a little character here that I added. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to experiment on how uh, projectile weapons will work. Uh, we already know that we can actually add uh, the melee weapons. So let's add the melee weapons. And I also added the uh, weapon inventory at the top right. Uh, it's still uh, looking like a template, but I will uh, add more graphics to it. Uh, we also have the projectile weapon, which is this one, and it does need this crystal. So I added a wand. And for the wand to work, it actually needs to have that crystal. So let's change weapons. So you can see there's the wand. And I have energy for it to shoot around. So this is actually a fire weapon. There you go. So I can shoot around. And yep, pretty cool. The sounds are not yet the sound that I want because this is actually a sound from a gun template. So it's sounding like a gun, but uh, I'll, I'll look for a uh, proper magical uh, sounding weapon. And also if you can go, if we look at here, I added this template um, dude from, from the game template that I have. Uh, again, it's just a small thing that I want to add and uh, try out. So let me just go and see if I could uh, talk to it. So yes, there it is. Uh, this is again, I'm working on it. Uh, the pop-up uh, uh, text that we want to use when we are uh, talking to NPCs. Uh, there will be <clears throat> a graphics uh, at the left side. Uh, the avatar, a big avatar for our NPCs. So yeah, hello adventurer, let's, uh, lots of monsters out there. Uh, hope you'll be okay. Yeah, thank you. And I was trying to add this um, chest. 
can open it. Ready? But you know, no, no items drop yet. Cool. So let's move on. I was also trying to <clears throat> repurpose uh, this um, scene template to the thing that I want, which is maybe a tutorial scene. And I've been adding the um, couple of uh, uh, graphics, pixel graphics that I have for a forest. Uh, and we're just trying it out. So it's looking good, but again, this is not. This is not the. Uh, this is not the full or the uh, oh, proper graphics that I want. I will ask Jethro to actually uh, make some graphics for us. And here we go. There is our slime. Woo! I can actually shoot. There we go. Yep, let's uh, move around. So, it's nice having to shoot around enemies rather than slashing. Them. Makes it much more easier. There's another one here. There we go. I'm sure, it's not as fun. But yeah. Uh, what else? I actually added uh, a URP or a, a universal render pipeline to the game itself. Uh, I had to uh, fix a couple of stuff that were not working. But yeah, everything is looking good right now uh, with the URP and hopefully I could add more effects, especially I'm interested in putting in more lighting effects for my uh, 2D sprites. And hopefully we could do that, you know, as we move along and developing the game. Yep, and that's it. That's it for now. Hope, uh, hope you like this demo. Let me just pause it for a bit. Right. So hope you like this demo. Uh, maybe the next one will be more graphics. Hopefully we could actually adjust more graphics to it and put more uh, enemies because you know slime are pretty easy to fight because there's there's not much uh, uh, AI for slimes. So we'll try to put more enemies. And hopefully I could update the graphics uh, for our scene. And yep, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you stay safe, have fun, and see you all on my next vlog. Thanks, bye!